I'm Jeff Kubiak with Metchem, and I'm here to introduce to you the Metchem used reconditioned filter press and sludge dryer. This is a much smaller system than the other videos. That other video goes into a lot of detail about how to operate a sludge dryer and another video on how to operate the filter press. This is a nice setup showing the system together on a platform. Obviously the filter press is elevated over the sludge dryer. When you open the filter press and allow the sludge to fall, it's funneled into this chute and then it's directly over the sludge dryer. This is a smaller unit. It has manual uh, features like these lids. You pull the lid open, both sides pull open, the sludge falls in. You fill the sludge dryer to the appropriate level, you close the lid. When you close the lid, you hit this limit switch. There's one on both lids so that the controller knows that the lids are closed and it's safe to operate. If the, lid, if the system's not running, it could be because the lid's not closed all the way and hasn't engaged the limit switch. Once the sludge dryer is running, everything's controlled by the control panel. The sludge will dry and become more and more uh, like, like kitty litter or freeze-dried coffee. And once it gets to that point, when you're done, you dump the sludge out and it falls to the bottom through a, a, a sludge outlet, which we'll show you into uh, another container, a roll-off, a 55-gallon drum. In this case, we have a platform. This whole platform will be elevated. It's about to ship, so these leg extensions will be bolted on once it's on site. We have a ladder and uh, railings. These railings are solid. We have other sections that are removable so that you can uh, slide them in and out as needed for servicing. Control panels vary depending on the customer need for sludge dryers, filter press, and other systems. We have a video on the Maxi sludge dryer that has two augers that goes into depth on sludge dryer control. Refer to that video for details on sludge dryer control panels. Metchem can custom fabricate catwalks platforms, ladders to meet your needs. We can accommodate tight spaces. We can uh, incorporate our catwalk into your existing catwalk if necessary. This particular setup is not very high. There's a ladder with only three rungs on it and it'll bolt. This, this hole will line up to this hole once it's at proper height. And the operator can get up on the ladder. He's got these handrails to enter and operate the system. This is the limit switch for one of the lids. As you pull the sludge dryer lid open, the limit switch trips open. The sludge dryer augers will not move when the lid is open. When you close the lid, this tab hits the limit switch, engaging the contacts, telling the control panel, this side is safe. There's another limit switch on the other side doing the same thing. Two lids on this unit. Once the sludge is dry, the auger has been turning and turning the sludge. There's a little uh, mini funnel in the bottom of the trough of this sludge dryer. That trough is going to have uh, sludge packed tight into it, which makes it difficult sometimes to open the sludge gate to let the sludge out. Metchem has engineered a cam to relax the pressure on the slide gate so that you can then easily pull it open. So you relax the cam, pull open the the tray. Now the sludge can fall. You jog the auger as needed to push the sludge across the hole. Sludge falls out, you put the, the tray back and you lock the cam. This slot here is the air intake for the drying chamber. When the scrubber pulls air out of the sludge dryer, the recovering air comes in this way, comes around the back side of the trough and gets preheated, then enters the sludge drying chamber, picks up the moisture from the drying sludge, and then is pulled out through this exhaust port, which is in the sludge drying chamber. The air comes out of this port and is drawn out of that port from the scrubber. This is the MedChem wet scrubber. This is the inlet. It draws air into 
this pipe from the sludge dryer we just talked about. The air comes down and around. We're interjecting uh, water. It scrubs the particles out of the air, which will collect at the bottom. This uh, centrifugally spins in internally, bringing the air to the center, the liquid to the outside, as the fan pulls the air through and then exhausts here. This air then is exhausted out of the building.